Hey, what's good? I'm Sadia and in this video I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Nike Air Force One in pink Oxford. So let's get right into it. Disclaimer, I just want to say these aren't completely brand new. I have worn them twice. But anyway, let's get on to it. So, I've still got them in the box packed quite nicely. And here they are. So I've still got the little thing inside. Let's get these out. As you can see, these are really nice. The pink Oxford colour is really, really nice. I personally, I'm not a fan of pink. I don't like it at all. Um, if you ever see me in pink, it'll be a very rare occasion. Probably like now, because I generally don't like the colour pink. But I saw these in office and I absolutely fell in love. Try them on and they're just so comfortable, I had to buy them. I always buy my trainers in a junior size because I'm a UK size five, but unfortunately they don't actually sell them in junior, so I had to buy the women's ones and they were around 110 pounds. And they're still actually in stock, so if you do fancy them, then def I would definitely recommend them. But let's talk about the trainer itself. So it's pretty much pink all the way around, and you can see it's got the metallic Nike swoosh, swoosh, swoosh? The, the Nike tick basically um, but at the back you've also got this velvet heel tab so there's quite a lot of materials on here and even the the little tongue tab here you can see the fur on the tongue as well but the great thing about this particular trainer is that you can wear it in multiple styles so you can see the fur here and you can see these fleece fleece material laces but actually they, you do actually get another pair of laces, you get the sanded material, which is great. So if you didn't want these, you can just switch them out. And if you didn't fancy the fur, I guess in the summer months, which is probably what I'm going to do because it's really hot. And I think fur is just kind of associated with the cold. So winter times, but the sun is popping now. So what I'm going to do is remove this. And it's really amazing that you can remove it because then you, you can just wear it in different styles, I guess. So let's remove that and actually when I remove it you'll see that there's actually a hidden little feature but we'll go on to that in a second. So as I mentioned you can actually take the fur off so once you've undone the laces you can just literally pull it out. You can't obviously do it when the laces are still in because you've got these little tabs here which the laces obviously go through so yeah once you've taken the laces off you can just pull this out and when I was talking about the hidden feature I was it's actually on the fur, but at the back of the fur. So as you can see there, there's a little pocket. So once it's in the trainer, um, there you go, you'll see the pocket. So you can obviously hide in, I guess, some, hide some notes or some coins or whatever you want, basically. So it's probably just a little gimmick, but I guess it could be quite handy. But I really like the fact that you can take the fur out and just have, you know, the standard uh, tongue, to, tongue here. So yeah, I really like that you can take the fur off and just have, you know, the standard tongue or to swap out the fleece laces for the standard ones. Yeah, I just really like that you can change it to, I guess, fit your own style, change it up, mix it up a little bit, makes it, I guess, a little less boring. And actually these are really different because normally with trainers you don't really get any flexibility or any options. So I really like these. They're just really nice. And I'm actually surprised that I like them because I'm not into pink. Um, but yeah. Also what I mentioned is obviously you guys probably know Nike Air Force One are known for creasing which doesn't look great at all. As you can see mine are still basically perfect because what I've got in here is a crease protector and I would highly recommend these if you get any Air Force trainers whether it's the white ones or these ones. So this is what the crease protector looks like and it pretty much, I didn't actually need to cut it. I can't remember what size I got. I'll put a link in the description below. But yeah, these fit perfectly fine. They literally just sort of slide in into the shoe like so and you kind of just need to push it forward. And they're really comfortable. You don't, it doesn't feel like they're in there. It doesn't really necessarily make the shoe any tighter, which is obviously great. So definitely recommend these to avoid creasing because you, you can bend your foot and you won't get any creases. So that's really good and yeah generally for comfort they're just so comfortable honestly it's like walking on clouds it's just so soft inside really soft probably one of the 
comfiest Nike trainers I've ever had and I've got quite a lot. Um, I love my trainers, I just love them. I could wear the same clothes every single day but I love to have options when it comes to trainers and if you're a bit of a trainer head or a sneaker head like I am then you probably understand where I'm coming from. But yeah, these were £110. Oh, I think they're completely worth it. They're quite easy to clean as well because they're primarily leather. Obviously, the velvet tab at the back is like, you want to avoid getting any dirt on that because that's going to be very difficult to clean. But these are kind of like my special occasion trainers. I wouldn't wear these every single day. Not only because of the material, but mainly because they're pink and I'm not too much into pink. So I'll probably wear these with specific outfits only. But yeah, I think these are really, really nice trainers and I would definitely recommend them. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and thank you for watching. Peace.